Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing today? I'm John from Coffee Time. If you've not followed us, head on over to our page on on Facebook, Coffee Time with John and Mama, and like it, share it, and follow it. I am way behind, way behind tonight. It's nearly nine o'clock. Mama's done eating. Uh, I came in late. We went to church. I'm just getting home. And so I'm going to have what I started the other night. Uh, we had it the other night, but we started. The internet was all messed up, and we had to just stop. Um, and it's just a quick snack. It's a go-to, and I'm just going to use a little bitty home ripe tomato here. And um, this is this is perfect for this kind of thing. When you come in late, you want a little bite, but you don't want to eat something heavy. You don't want a lot of bread. You don't want... This is tomato. I use JFG salad dressing, but you can use mayonnaise. If I was going to use mayonnaise, I'd try Little Dukes. And just plain old saltine crackers. This is an age-old little snack that's been going around for years and years. Uh, I've eaten it my whole life. My granny ate it. Mama eats it. My daddy ate it. Uh, so it's a quick, easy. I need something to eat here at 10 till 9. But I don't want to cook for sure. And I don't want bread, and I don't want anything heavy, so here's what I'm going to have. Let's go right down here to this chore board. I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is. Hopefully the internet will hold up tonight. The other night it sure did, and I, we made some, and I told you all about it, but this was what we had. Mama ate with me the other night. So this is just a garden tomato that I, we picked. This one, I think, actually came out of Mama's um, garden. And I'm just going to do about half of it here, because this is just a snack. This is just a, I didn't eat supper, but I don't need nothing heavy tonight. I'm going to bed here in about, as soon as I take Maggie out. Mama might already have Maggie out. I'll have to ask her. Um, just going to dice this up. You just want bite size, whatever that means. Some people slice it. I've seen it done different ways. But just going to cut it up here. Get it just right, as they say. Boy, look at that juicy tomato. That one really had a lot of juice in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in this bowl right here. Well, there's a bug bite. I don't want you in there, Mr. Bug Bite. Somebody's done had the good out of that. Juice and all. I don't know if y'all can see me. I think I'm holding the board backwards. Alright, so that's all that. You can see why this is just a quick little easy. I think I might have cut the stem part up in there, people. Ooh. You ever had those long days? Well, this is one of them. Just gonna put just a touch of salt. And what I like to do is put about, for this amount, I'm gonna say five or six saltine crackers. These are just Zestus Originals. You use whatever brand you like, whatever you use, same old thing. And I'm just gonna crunch them up in there, just like this. Now what on earth does this taste like? I'm going to put one more. Put this broken one and one more. I can already tell I don't have enough cracker to tomato ratio. What on earth would this taste like? This will taste delicious. This will be... Um, it tastes very, very much like a tomato sandwich. I know, nothing beats a tomato sandwich. And I sure wouldn't pick this over a tomato sandwich. But for a quick snack, it's good. And I'm just going to put just a little bit of salad dressing. You put a little bit of mayonnaise, whatever you want to use. Um, I think this is an age-old Southern thing. I've seen people make it up for reunion, reunions and family get-togethers and big old bowls. And, uh, Mama, you want to have some tomato and cracker? I told them you didn't eat. I was late tonight. This needs one more little cracker. Two. I'm going to put two. So what's that? Seven crackers. Seven crackers and about a half a tablespoon of salad dressing. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'll be glad to show you my snack with you. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that for yourself. Now, Mama did eat it the other night, didn't you? Yeah, it's good. I like it. Like I told you, when I was growing up, I ate uh, apples and tomatoes and crackers together. So that's it, folks. Not no mayonnaise in it or salad dressing. That is it, and it's delicious. 
you can put a little black pepper. I'm not even drinking coffee tonight. It's late. Now, you know it's late for me <laughs> when I'm not drinking coffee. If this was Friday night, I would be drinking coffee. I wouldn't care. This is what you'd call late 30. This is late 30. This is <laughs> I used to call this dark 30. Dark 30. When it's too late and it's too dark, it's dark 30. So there it is. It's just cracker, mayonnaise, or salad dressing, and uh, a ripe garden tomato. Crackers and tomatoes are good together. They're delicious. And it tastes a lot like the same flavors of a, a sandwich. Yeah. I like this. I told them I'd seen it in a big bowl, like at a family reunion before. Yeah. And people dip out of it. Mm. We need to fix us some tomatoes and cucumbers and onions together. Yes, Mama got. Mama, they're laying right here. I'm gonna go ahead and show them. Yeah. Do you know who sent these? I get you the card. Somebody sent us two bags of Adelia onions. Two of these. You all felt sorry for us. I didn't even know you could still get Vidalias. Here, Vidalias is such a short little season for us. These are real Vidalia sweet onions. The real sweet, uh, premium quality Vidalia onion. Georgia grown, they say. I was so tickled. This is from Virginia, though, right here. It says, happy, beautiful birthday. So I told Mama, she got beautiful. onions for her, onions for her birthday this year. Look at that. And look what a beautiful card. Yeah. It says, uh, have a lovely day. Love, Kathy. Kathy, thank you for the Vidalia. Now, wasn't it Ka uh, Kathy that sent them before, Mama? But this one's from Virginia. And she, that one before said she lived next to it. And this is the other stuff's in there. Was it in there? All this was. Oh, look, a little bouquet of red roses. That's, a, are, that's a pin. Mm -hmm. These are so big and Look beautiful. how beautiful. That's a lapel pin. And then she sent Pioneer Chicken Pot Pie Meal Sauce. Mmm, I can't wait to try that. that. I ain't never seen that. And here's Just Five McCormick Simple Ingredients Home Style Ranch. Love that too. Kathy, thank you for blessing us with this bountiful onion harvest. Miss uh, Kathy is from uh, Stewart's Draft, Virginia. Miss Kathy, thank you so, so much. Kathy Moeller. This pen stuck was in a Murray bag. Ain't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Mama will wear that pen. She oh, loves yeah. red. Uh, but these onions, oh. Just can't believe we got more. I thought the Vidalias were gone for a year, just like tomatoes when they're gone in August, with well, late August. We usually can keep them through September, sometimes even October. We've had so few of them this year, I don't think that's going to be a possibility. But look at that. That is a mama grown tomato right there. Came right out of mama's garden. Mama, did this little fella here, I just cut half of him up. Did he come out of your garden? I think so. I thought so, too. We won't waste that. We will use that hive. But, folks, this is simple. This is easy. This is a snack. Or this is... It's supper tonight. It's the real thing. It says, uh, you coming back wish, over with us, Mama? She's wishing me happy birthday, the lady birthday. And it says... Uh, Whatever woman needs for her birthday, and I think this is sweet, a little sparkle of a dozen roses and ten pounds of onions. <laughs> I think that's so sweet. I love it. Miss mm -hmm. Kathy, thank you so much. It's a beautiful card. I'm thinking about saving this part right here and putting it out, maybe hanging out on my Christmas tree. That is so that beautiful. That would be pretty. You could just use the whole square. It's not that large. Yeah. I'm thinking about putting that on my Christmas tree and saving it. It's so pretty. I believe I'll twelve. Either way, it won't, be, it won't go anywhere. Mama has uh, every card, every letter that you've ever sent. Mm -hmm. Mama, I feel bad that's eating. That's so pretty to put up without. I feel bad eating in front of you, even though you say you've already eaten. Mm -hmm. What do you have, Mama? don't remember now. I ate earlier. 
You ate so early you can't remember? Did you have leftover chicken? No, I didn't eat that. Well, Mama? But did you really eat or are you just trying to make me feel better? I ate earlier. I ate cereal once. So probably I ate cereal for lunch. I ate some cantaloupe. So you ate cereal and cantaloupe for supper? <laughs> well, for an evening snack. What was that, like 4 o'clock? No, about 3 something, I guess. Oh, 3 something. You had <laughs> cereal and cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. Well, Mama, you might need to eat again before you go to bed. Uh, graham cracker with some peanut butter. That sounds good. That's to stabilize that sugar for the night. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll just go out and have Let's see what you all are up to. We won't keep you in long. We know you're going to get in bed. You probably got kids going to school. Our kids have their first day of school today here in, here in our counties. Hi, John. Do y'all ever use air fryer? Yeah, we have the. That's what the uh, Easy Bake is: is air fryer, toaster oven. We are experimenting. Not sure about it yet. Well, Barbara, you'll get better with it. We had those same beginners experiments, and I'll tell you what our friends here told us: if you fix meat or something uh, fried, spray a little oil on it. And I, I got some little sprayers. It's got oil. Just don't give you vinegar. To start. One of them we put vinegar in, and make sure you mark that one. <laughs> I but, gave him vinegar the other day to spray on the chicken, or what was it? No, Sunday? Mama, it was on. Um, what chicken was it? It was on Polish sausage. Polish sausage. <laughs> Smoked sausage. Um, we use either we spray it with a little avocado oil or a little olive oil in the sprayer like say chicken tenders or even like squash that's breaded or something like that just to spritz of oil that really really helps um we like it we're using it more and more mama's even every once in a while suggesting like why don't we try that in the air fryer yeah, yes mama. i warmed my fish up that i had left over in the air fryer and it was really good. Took mama out for her birthday and um, she got catfish and of course they gave two big old pieces and mama brought one home and she put it in the air fryer to heat it, it up like one of y'all said for us to and it heats up so much better. The microwave may be quicker but the air fryer tastes better and it tasted fresh. Oh yeah. So ours is, we call it the easy bake because it's just a little oven. Um, it's KitchenAid. It's a KitchenAid brand and it's a toaster oven with an air fryer and a dehydrator and you can find it on our Amazon link that we link under every video mm -hmm. and it's on there is one of our favorite things so it's the KitchenAid we use and uh, that's it I need mama you fix yeah. anything else in it lately oh, we fix here French comes Maggie fries and chicken she and heard that spoon them. she's like let's see what they're eating it's time for me to go to bed has, have you had Maggie out? Uh uh, no. Uh, the UPS guy gave her a dog treat and she was at the door and he's bringing the package in and he bumped her head and she, <laughs> he was petting her and hugging her and she, apologizing. Oh, with the package? <laughs> no, the door. She had. Oh. She just hurt her. walked or turned around to eat her treat. And oh, well, no, nothing comes between her and her treat. It didn't hurt her, but he's apologizing, and she's just a looking at it. Like, you give me another treat since you knocked me in the head. <laughs> she was wanting another one. Mom, you got anything else tonight to add? I ain't sure you've eaten. I'm going to eat me a peanut butter and graham, graham cracker. cracker in a little bit before I go to bed. We'll take care of Mama. We won't let her go hungry. Mama don't eat a lot sometimes. Sometimes she does. But she eats what she wants. Yeah. Well, it's like anything. You, sometimes you're hungry wanting stuff more than others. I ate lunch at regular time today. And that's a lot. That's why you're hungry. You ate I was a little hungry, but this little snack. I'm full now. And that little bit of crackers and tomatoes and a little bit of salad dressing filled me up. Well, that's good. I feel like I've had a big... Maybe we can start cooking less, Mama. Oh, yeah. Just have <laughs> crackers and tomatoes. Well, that sounds like a good deal the rest of the summer. Oh, the rest of the summer. Woo! Summer's flying by, folks. Do you know it's already the 10th day of August? It's unreal. I thought July was fast, but I still am... And August usually is not fast. And, but this is went 
extremely fast. It has. It's it really went has. from zero, last to July to already the tenth of. Well, it's the tenth about over with. It'll be the eleventh tomorrow. It'll be soon be the middle of August, yeah. the fifteenth. Yeah, and tomorrow is uh, yeah, Uncle John's birthday. Uh huh. Happy birthday, Uncle John. Happy 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 birthday. happy birthday and many many more. Yeah. And really? so that means if tomorrow's his birthday. Then the next day is his granddaughter's Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. And the next day his is his son. Youngest happy son, birthday, Keith. Keith. <laughs> it's his birthday. All right in a row. We got a lot of August babies. And 11, his, 12, his oldest 13. son's birthday just passed last the week. The 3rd of August. The 3rd of August. Happy belated birthday, Wendell. Wendell's the one that makes the. Pepper some pepper. of y'all that sent them before the pepper grinders and all the wood stuff and the ink pens I showed you all the pepper grinders the, when I use the big wood ones those are his and he he, Very he doesn't sell them or anything they're really hard to make I forget how many pieces of wood is in those but there's lots of pieces of wood in those and uh, he loves to make that kind of stuff it's very tedious puts it on a lay and turns it and he glues all those pieces of wood together. I don't know how he does it. I, I, I wouldn't even be able to put it together if it came in a puzzle box. He just makes it all from raw wood. In fact, Mama can show y'all sometime. We had a Bradford pear blow down mm -hmm. and he said, uh, can I get that wood? And Mama said, well, yeah, you can get it. The whole tree if you want it. So he came and cut it up and got a piece of wood from it and that Christmas he brought her a bowl or two, several bowls, wooden bowls, beautiful, beautiful ones that he had made out of her Bradford pear tree. Um, He's very talented. Very talented. Folks, that's all we have. Why didn't you get some of that talent? Mama, I am without talent. <laughs> no, you're not. My only talent is just telling you what to do. Yeah. You want to let me do that? Yeah, I do. I listen pretty good most of the time. Say that again. I listen most of the time. <laughs> when is most of the time? That must be a specific date on the calendar. Most of the time. The date of most, because most of the time would just be equivalent of one day. I do better than that. Most of the time, Mama? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe some of the time. <laughs> I would go for any of the time. I do mind you pretty good. I don't get on ladders no more, hardly. Hardly. See, there's always a little bit of, you know. And then there's times I see stuff. Now, there ain't nothing been changed up there. I've seen you looking on top of the cabinets. Some, I'm short, and I have to have a ladder. Sometimes I see stuff that I know is moved, and it's really now high. I can't see nothing moved up there because I ain't been... Cookbooks are moved off top shelves. Oh, that ain't that tall over there. Different things occur, and I'm like, Mama, and I've not been climbing. I've done real good lately. Lately? Mm -hmm. As in like the last seven days? No, oh, I've been longer than that. <laughs> we get off of here before I get in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going, Mama. It's 9.09. Folks, get to bed. we got tomorrow to look forward to. Yeah. Kids, if you're all in school, have a great day at school. Be safe. Um, enjoy yourselves. These days won't last long. The school will be over. You'll be back out for the summer. Won't That's be long. Right. Uh, and y'all have a blessed night. And have a, won't get started good till they'll have fall break. Fall break, Christmas break, and then you'll have spring break. And then you'll be out. <laughs> Happens very quickly. Um, yeah, Christmas will be here before we know. We need to get started on Christmas. It's time to start planning Christmas. Um, Y'all have a blessed night. Sleep well. Find you some good dreams. And tomorrow morning, wake up refreshed, renewed. I'm glad to be on the wake up list. Just don't do like Maggie bark in your dreams. Oh, poor old Maggie. Maggie last night was tore up. I think she might have had uh, Peking duck for supper. Uh, what is it, Gomer Pyle? Has you remember when, if y'all remember Gomer Pyle, the spinoff from Andy Griffith. the Andy Griffith show? And he ate Peking duck and it caused him to sleepwalk. I was back in her age, you <laughs> Gen Xers. Um, so every once in a while, if I have a crazy dream, I say, whew, 
I must have had Peking duck for supper. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had Peking duck. Yeah, I never have. I know that. Folks, we're going to say goodnight. Y'all be blessed. Thank you for joining us tonight. What nothing special. You don't need a recipe for however much tomato you want to eat, however many crackers you want to eat, and however much mayonnaise you want to put in a bowl or salad dressing. It's delicious. Speaking of mayonnaise, you remember your show you used to watch... Uh, and the little boy, his mother would say he had cooked for him. And he said, oh, that's okay. I had a bowl of mayonnaise and went to bed. <laughs> yeah. Mom and I say that every once in a while. Like if she says, I didn't cook nothing for supper. I say, that's okay. I'll just eat a bowl of mayonnaise and go to bed. <laughs> yeah. It was on a sitcom, The Middle or something. I don't. We don't have no rights to any of that. I'm just saying that's what was on. In the middle. The middle. In the middle or something. I mean, it, was, it was on a year or two back. Anyhow, it was a little guy named Brett Brick. 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 And uh, his mom was one of those real moms that just didn't have time to do everything. And she said, oh, I'm sorry I didn't fix supper for you. And he said, that's okay. I just ate a bowl of mayonnaise and went to bed. <laughs> so every once in a while, Mama and I will drag that old line out from that sitcom and we'll use it. And I'll say, Mama, do you want to cook? And she said, let us eat a bowl of mayonnaise and go to bed. That's right. <laughs> We don't need a bowl of mayonnaise before y'all start coughing. <laughs> That's just a joke. <laughs> Ooh, that wouldn't be good, I don't think. Even though I love mayonnaise, I don't think I would want I a bowl of it. I could just plain mayonnaise. No. But that's what we mean when we say we're single cook. We'll just have a bowl of mayonnaise and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say goodnight, Mama, before we get in all kinds good of night, trouble. Good night, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all.